Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. Give this video a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment down below, what should I do next? And on to the video. If I look like a reptile, it's because I am. That's my target. I worked in a festival and now I look like this. Please send help. Well, today it's a little bit a story time about a patient. Let's call her Georgina. I don't know why, but let's call her that. Georgina was mentally unstable, and I could say that because, well, she was. She was suicidal. In the hospital that I volunteer, they take suicidal people. And my duty is to help the nurse that's there in case if she needs like a break, well not a break, like, she needs them to get food, med or doctor, stuff like that. And then, well, I asked if she needed anything, she was like, no. But Georgina, <laughs> this little beep wanted to be a little bit a -ho, you know? So she was like, I want a doctor. I was like, okay then. I looked at her and I was like, what do I do? <laughs> do I listen to you or to her? But the nurse was like, just get a doctor. And I got a doctor. And Georgina wanted to be in a little a -ho again. She wanted me out of the room and I understand that she wanted me out of the room but at the same time she could have been polite and said oh can you please step out of the room instead of telling me get the out of the room so I was like oh wow Virginia someone's in a bad mood and then I was like okay I just you know whatever get out but Georgina didn't want to stop there. Georgina got butt hurt because the doctor told me to stay, but not in the room, outside of the room. So she got a little bit butt hurt, and she started cussing me out and the doctor out. So when that happens, we call security to. Come. Well, at least we try to calm the patient down. But if we can't. We call security for them in order to take the patient out of the hospital. If they get too aggressive or if they say too much bad words or if they just come for the other patients and stuff like that, we called the security in order to call a psychiatrist doctor for them to get them out. So, we did. But Virginia wanted to go be an a hole again. So we have to lock the when the patient is too crazy and too wild, we have to close the emergency room because they have it in the emergency room but like a little section of them that for them to be like stable and stuff. So we closed the whole emergency room just to be safe in the safe side because you don't know how they're going to react, stuff like that. And other patients are there, but for them to not see that. So we did that, and then she got too crazy, pushed some doctors around. So, what well, the next procedure is, if they don't come down, we, well, not me, but the doctors and nurses take, um, a, what's that called? Um, it's basically like a needle that has medicine to relax, a tranquilizer, there you go, for her to relax, and they put it by the butt, um, so they did that, but... Virginia still had a little bit of energy. <laughs> so
so she got crazy because obviously they poked her in the butt. So she swinged at the doctor, but thank God the doctor saw that she was going to do that, so he right away moved. And then the nurse right away grabbed her arms tighter around. But Georgina wanted to have a little fight with the nurse. So as a volunteer, I help nurses. So I had to right away grab her legs. And I grabbed her legs. But Eugenia wanted to have, she had a little bit extra of spit that she wanted to give us. Sorry, I saw Ant. Um, so she was spitting. <laughs> Disgusting. But I always saw that she was in a spit. So by the way, I dodged it. Well, not literally dodged it, but I got out of the way. But she was too crazy, and then the person that takes care of them comes and takes her away. And then, when they do that, we have to report, have a report, why they took, why we had to take her out of the hospital, what happened, and stuff like that. And I told the doctor what was going on. So, yeah, guys, my point is never go crazy on the people because they're nurses and doctors. Because they're still human beings, but they're trained, and obviously they would do stuff to you, but not harm you. Their number one priority is give care to you, but not to hurt you. It may seem like that, to be honest, because I have had like that, but it's not like that. But, by well, guys... Don't be rude to people and don't spit at people because that's disgusting. But this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this, give the video a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment below if you guys want this or another video or a cooking video which is on the process with someone very special. But, sorry, I had to think. <laughs> But it's very soon, very soon, and also there's a video coming up on November that hopefully you guys liked it Go and like it, likes it, oh, like it. I'm still leaving it and you guys know me, I don't know how to edit, so I'm still leaving it. Like, I hope you like it, and I don't want to give the a little bit more details but I hope you guys like the that video and don't come for me because some people would get mad about this that the story but please guys comment down below what should I do next because I don't know what you guys are gonna watch or what you're not gonna watch but bye guys